Hey, family, I got some great news today. I just got a brand new spaceship. Check it out. It's got speakers, an anti-gravity button, and hey, what does this button do? It looks like I've flown to the sun. I gotta be really careful flying so close to the sun because it gets incredibly hot. It's hotter than it ever gets on Earth. On our planet, a hot day would be around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But on the sun, it's 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. More importantly, the sun gives us light and heat, which we need in order to live. Without the sun, we wouldn't have plants or animals. We wouldn't even have daylight. So thank you, sun. Hey, let's see what these other buttons do. Oh, snap. We can see the whole solar system from here. A solar system is a group of planets that all move around the same star. We live on planet Earth, and our star is the sun. Our solar system is made up of eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Let's see what they're like close up, baby. Whoa, oh my bad, Mercury. Oh no, it looks like we made a crater. But that's okay, because Mercury already has tons of craters. Mercury is a rocky planet like Earth, but it's a lot smaller. In fact, Mercury is the smallest planet in our entire solar system. It's also the planet that's closest to the sun. All of its craters make Mercury look a lot like our moon. Now let's see what planet is next. Whew, it's really hot in her. This must be Venus. Venus is the second planet in our solar system and it's also the hottest. That's because it has a very thick atmosphere. Venus is only a little bit smaller than Earth but their biggest difference is their temperatures. It gets so hot on Venus that even metals can melt. In fact, oh no, my computer's melting. We better get out of here fast, pronto, 5-0. Ah, home sweet home. That's right, after Venus is Earth where we live. Like Venus and Mercury, Earth is a rocky planet. However, unlike Venus, Earth is also an ocean planet. Did you know that over 70% of our planet is covered with water? This is good news for us because we need water to live. See, there's nothing like a nice glass of water, baby. Earth also has one moon, which you can see in the sky every night. Next up is Mars, also known as the red planet due to its famous red color. Even though it's right next to us in the solar system, it's a lot colder. Mars is about as cold as the South Pole here is on Earth. Even so, scientists are excited about Mars and have spent a lot of time studying it because there's a possibility that people might be able to live there in the future. Hey, what's happening? Oh no! Oh man, it's really stormy out here. That must mean we're close to Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system and it has a whopping 79 moons. Jupiter is famous for its big red spot, but this spot isn't a spot at all. It's actually one massive storm. Woo, that was intense. Man, I am completely lost now. I've gotta take a look and figure out where we are. Wow, look at those beautiful rings. Only one planet in our solar system looks like that, Saturn. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a gas giant planet. It's most well known for the seven rings that surround it. Those rings are mostly made up of huge chunks of ice. Hey, what's going on? The next planet is Uranus. Uranus has 27 moons and is surrounded by 13 rings, but they look different from Saturn's rings. That's because Uranus is turned on its side, kind of like how I am now and it's the only planet in our solar system that spins from that position. Okay, now that's a lot better. Brr, it's getting chilly billy goats right now. The last planet in our solar system is Neptune. 
Neptune is really, really cold because it's so far away from the sun. Like Uranus, Neptune is also an ice giant planet. It has six rings, but they're really hard to see. Hey, I think that covers every planet in our solar system. Well, I think it's time to fly back home now. It's almost dinner time. If you're interested in learning about planets, check out some books on astronomy. That's a study of everything in outer space. Who knows, you might even become an astronaut or an astronomer one day. For now though, keep learning all that you can right here on Earth. Until the next time, peace.